Which LED light therapy device is better, a panel or a mask? I've been asked this question a lot lately, so in today's video, I will share my thoughts after using the Pulse LED light panel as well as the Prana LED mask, both from Mesama. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and this sounds like your type of content, then please hit subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. If you know me, you know LED is my device of choice, which is saying a lot because I'm a device junkie. Not only does it provide incredible anti-aging benefits, it's non-invasive and it supports overall skin health, which is becoming increasingly more important to me as I age. Now, I have a lot of different LED devices and they all have different benefits. And yes, I actually do use them all. However, I have used these two devices pretty much exclusively since I got them. The main reason I'm reaching for these more than my other devices is the Pulse Light technology. Now, I've recently done an interview with founder Bev May Sanderson on why Pulse Light is better than continuous light. So if you'd like to watch that, I'll put a link to that in the description bar below. So very quick synopsis, Pulse technology does a couple of extra things. One, it improves product absorption. So pulse light makes cells expand and contract, almost like they're breathing. When the light is on, it makes the cells bulge, and when the light goes off, they shrink, and they suck up all the micronutrients around it. So when they breathe in, they're taking in more active ingredients. So more product is being absorbed into the cells. Now, I never LED without the green rooibos serum from Mesama because it amplifies the benefits of LED light therapy. The research has shown by more than 200%. So it's taking in all of these antioxidants and making them even more effective. Next, it accelerates cell production. And that's the natural process of making new skin cells to replace the old ones. The more skin cells we produce, the better. This keeps our skin healthy and functional. It also amplifies ATP production. Now, ATP is the energy in our cells. Like imagine our cells are busy little workers in a factory and they need energy to do their job. Well, ATP provides that energy. So whether it's moving molecules in and out of a cell or building new structures, ATP is there to power these processes. So ATP production is crucial for keeping cells alive and functioning. And pulse light amplifies this production. Yay. And lastly, it mitigates excess free radicals. Now, I actually think this is quite interesting. It's not well known that free radicals actually ignite the positive processes during LED sessions like ATP and cell production. So not all free radicals are bad. It's only bad if we have too much of them. An extended LED exposure can be a tipping point. So the pulse light stops the buildup of excess free radicals to better protect your skin. The other reason I'm using Mesama over the other devices is the waiting time. Because I use the green rooibos serum with every treatment, they recommend you wait 15 to 20 minutes before a session to give the antioxidants enough time to sink in and to do their job. Well, the pulse light negates that you don't have to wait. Let me tell you, there was a happy dance when I found that out, because that means I've just gained 15 or 20 minutes every single day. So before I dive into each of these devices, let's talk about what else they have in common, in addition to the pulse light. Both of these devices contain red as well as infrared light that you can choose to use together, or you can use red on its own. And this is a massive bonus. It's actually quite difficult to find. Now, red LED on its own reduces redness, improves skin tone, increases cell turnover, reduces fine lines and wrinkles, and is even mood lifting. Now, near infrared is a longer wavelength, which means it goes into the deeper layers of skin. This reduces inflammation, increases collagen and elastin production, and it also boosts circulation. However, some people with darker skin tones have experienced pigmentation issues such as melasma from near infrared light. So having the ability to turn off near infrared is a huge bonus for many. Strangely enough, red and near infrared together actually help my melasma, which I always get in the summer everybody's different. But they are shown to work better together for anti-aging and facial rejuvenation. So personally, that's what I do. Okay, that's the similarities. Let's talk about the formats of these devices. I'm going to start with the panel because that's the one that I use the most. It sits here on my table and I use it every single night. The main reason I like this the most, aside from the pulse light, is that it can cover a bigger surface area. I can do my face, my neck and chest all at the same time. Because I used to wear a separate mask for my face 
as well as my neck and decolletage, and now I can do all of that in one go. I also like the benefit of a shorter treatment time. It does have different treatment time settings, one, two, six, and 10 minutes, but I've learned that a six minute pulse cycle is the optimum amount. So I've just saved myself four minutes. Plus, this panel is perfect when I've done invasive procedures like medical microneedling. Those are the times when I don't actually want to put anything against my skin, but I still want that healing benefit of red light. And by the way, it absolutely reduces my downtime. It also has three different pulse settings purely for comfort. You may prefer 10, 20, or 30 megahertz. I've used them all, and for me, 30 megahertz is the one that I've settled on. Now there's no right answer or one that's more effective than another. And of course you don't even have to use the pulse. If you don't want to, you can just turn it off and use continuous. The panel also has a higher intensity, which means it can be used to treat pain as well as aid in muscle recovery. Now there's also an ambient mode, which has two different functions. First, it controls the brightness of the lights. You can adjust this from 100% down to 75, 50, or even 25 if you find it's too intense. I personally do it at 100. And red light therapy is also shown to be beneficial for sleep. So a lighter intensity could be really helpful right before bed. I'm not gonna lie though, I haven't used this feature. Probably should give it a go. Okay, some things to note about the panel. One, the recommended distance is nine to 12 inches away from the panel. You don't wanna be right up close next to it. I mean, there can be too much of a good thing. Next, you do have to wear the goggles to protect your eyes. And the light's pretty intense. Gary, what do you call it when you walk in and I have that thing on? Disco lights. Disco lights. <laughs> okay, next up is the Prana Mask. Now, in addition to red only, as well as red and infrared combined, it also has magenta light. Now, this combines red and blue together, not infrared. The addition of blue regulates oil production, it treats acne, it reduces redness and inflammation, and has antibacterial properties which could make it great for the teenagers in the house. Next up is the feel of this mask. It is so comfortable. It's almost spongy, so it's not as hard as other flexible masks and it, it feels lighter. And I also like the adjustment straps. I just find it so easy and comfortable to wear. Then there's the controller. I love this thing. Not only can you easily toggle between the colors, but it starts at six minutes and has a countdown timer. I mean, why don't they all have timers? Have you ever sat there and wondered, oh my God, when is this thing over? Well, now you know. Another huge bonus to this mask is there's no mouth. All my other masks have that little cutout, which means I'm not addressing the mouth wrinkles. And believe me, they are coming. So this is pure genius. It's just swiping all over the whole face. One thing that could be seen as a positive to the mask is that you don't actually see the pulse light the way you do with the panel, which is pretty intense. I actually thought the mask was broken <laughs> until I looked it up online and then I realized that that's actually the way it rolls. So it's not as sensitizing. So if you're sensitive to a bright pulse light, then perhaps the mask is a better option. Now I use the mask when I need to be doing something else. For example, I wore it when I was writing the notes for this video. Plus, this is what goes in my suitcase. And yes, I travel with a mask. It's light, it's flat, it doesn't take up any space, and it doesn't add any weight to my bag. So the big question remains, which is better, a panel or a mask? Now, Mesama did work up a chart just so you can compare them, right? So both are perfect for anti-aging and facial rejuvenation benefits. The mask has the added benefit of treating acne prone skin, and it may be best for beginners because there's not a lot to tinker with and the pulse light is nearly indetectable. The panel is best for covering more skin all at one time. It treats pain and can also aid with sleep. Now it says that the panel can also help with hair growth. However, in my opinion, you can actually just put the mask on your head and get the same benefit. And yes, I've done this. I also think the mask is better for travel. I personally wouldn't say that the panel is hugely portable. I mean, you could move it from room to room, but it certainly isn't something I'd be putting in my suitcase. In the end, the right device is the one you'll use. No device will work if it sits in a drawer or sits in a box. It really is based on personal preference and you can't go wrong either way. But I honestly believe that everyone should have LED in their routine. 
Yes, I'm talking to you too, Gary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for me, I use both. Now, I know not everyone can buy both, so select the one that fits your lifestyle and use it three to five times a week, and I promise you will see results. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was requested a lot. I love these products, and I will continue to use them every single day. If you have any comments or questions, please do put them below because I truly love hearing from you and I will respond to everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Okay. So there isn't one universal. It's whatever one you're going to use the most. So, no, so no conclusion then? The conclusion is whatever is going to be the... <laughs>